Hi guys and welcome back. Thank you very much for clicking on today's video of the weekly gear guide from the Outdoor Explorer. On today's video I'm going to show you a brand new jacket I bought for 2022, the Rab Kangria GTX three layer Gore-Tex jacket. In this video I'm going to show you some up and close features of this jacket and why I think it's a great jacket. Rab describe it as a hill walking mountaineering jacket and it's available in four different colours. This particular colour I've got on is the army jacket colour. Let's start off with the jacket itself. So the jacket itself is an oversized jacket. I'm six foot two and it's a great fitting jacket. It's a size large. In a lot of different manufacturers, I can't really get um, jackets what fit me great. I sometimes have to go to an extra large for the length, then it gets too big in the body. But in this jacket, um, Rab's fitment guide is superb. All my um, jackets from Rab, all my clothing's always been size large and um, the fit is great. That's just in my opinion. So the free layer Gore-Tex it's using, it's suitable for reliable um, material. It's using a 70D recyclable fabric. So you've got three layers bonded together. So it's really hard wearing material. So you're not gonna snag it on any rocks if you're doing any scrambling. Um, it's just gonna keep you nice, protected from the elements. So it's got great waterproof properties and it's got great windproof properties. That, and that's what you do get with um, Gore-Tex, it's very windproof. And it's also very, very breathable um, compared to some of the different materials out there. A lot of the previous wrap jackets I've owned um, have been using the event fabric, which is, is okay, but um, the Gore-Tex material is so much better. So I've got a wrap event jacket. There's nothing really wrong with the jacket, but as soon as I found out they started using Gore-Tex again, I thought I need to get my hands on one of these jackets. And when I saw this jacket, a lot of my um, gear is this sort of colour, and I really like this colour. Um, I thought I needed to get hold of one of those. So the, the fit itself, it's a nice long um, sleeve jacket. It's got very big cuffs on the, on the jacket and that's so you can get your gloves on the inside of the jacket um, and cinch it across it. So no water or wind gets up into the gloves and it can just roll off or even snow. So say you're um, doing some ice climbing and you're using yaksas, no snow is gonna get inside the jacket. And how they finished it there, they've like, liquid sealed it around there so you're not getting any extra flappy material that you don't need on the jacket and that's what they've really thought of with this jacket they haven't put features on the jacket you don't need um, it's designed for hill walking and mountaineering so that's what it's intended to do and and that's the features it's using the other thing as well you've got these nice big pit zips and they've got nice um adjusters on it so you can really grab hold of them if you've got your gloves because you see so if they just had a little um, cord on there you won't be able to grab with your gloves and that'd be pointless you don't want to be taking your gloves off and um, just to undo them or even zip them up they're using a liquid sealed sonic sealed ykk zip so even though you've got a zip there it's not going to let water in when it's sealed it does really close it together and i'll, I'll show you um, it really close up coming to the front of the jacket and um, it unzips from the bottom as well as the top and that's so if you're doing a belay on a ledge and you sat down you can just undo it and you can get to your belay device on the front of the jacket it's using a really nice chunky ykk zip and um, using the liquid seal zip as well so even though yeah, it is a zip and that could be a penetration for for the water or um, elements and um, it's sealed so when it's zipped together it is really sealed and they've also put a storm seal guttering around the back and um, it, it's much harder wearing so if any water did get through the zip which it, it shouldn't it'd roll off so it's not going to wet the front of your um, chest you've got a nice big pocket on the front of the jacket so you can put your map or compass and such like inside there and on, on the jacket as well while we are on the jacket it's got the adjustable cords on the bottom i have one on the left one on the right so you can really pull it in so when you've got it um, over your, your insulated jacket or your fleeces, no snow or wind's gonna blow it up, you can really hold it together. Um, but it's also got adjustment inside the jacket as well, so you can um, pull it in at the waist. You've got some nice big pockets here, hand warming pockets. So you can put your hands inside there, they're really deep pockets. And again, they're using a liquid seal zip and they're also using a storm flap to stop any of the elements going inside the jacket. It's got a nice big hood. And before I show the hood, um, if you don't want the hood flapping about like this, so say you had your hood down, it's actually got a Velcro strap what comes over the hood 
so you roll the hood up and it pulls together which I'll show you again um, on a screenshot as well when the hood's up it's nice and big so you, you'll be able to get your mountaineering helmet underneath if you wanted or if you're just wearing a beanie you can sink it up on the back just there on the, the hood itself it's got a wide peak so you can shape the peak so the water will uh, come off because some jackets again they haven't got that adjustment you put the hood up just covers your face and that's no good really you really want to be able to pull it in and you can also use these adjustments on the side of the jacket to pull the hood in as, as well you can see there it's got a fabric protection there so it's not going to give you no chafing on the, on the jacket so if you've got a beard like me or a stubble you don't want to chafe your chin on on the jacket especially if you're um, out in wet conditions your face is wet you don't want to get uh, no chafing on the, on the jacket so it's available in um, four different colors this was 275 and um, so yeah it's 275 pound it's not the most expensive go to check it view it's not the cheapest one it's like a happy medium i really like it it's really suitable for the activities i do I also use the um, Rab Downpour jacket, which is their own waterproof membrane for felwarning. I've been using one of them for about a year and a half now. I've reproofed it a few times and it's a great jacket. But when I saw they use this Gore-Tex membrane, I needed to get older a Gore-Tex jacket. I use the um, Event trousers still at the moment. Um, I will be getting eventually, hopefully, um, some Gore-Tex trousers to match this jacket, just in plain black because I really like uh, the Gore-Tex materials. I use the Gore-Tex um, wrap gloves. I used to have the Event one, and I still use them, but I really like the Gore-Tex brand uh, because the breathability of it, the hard wearing of it, and how the material works is superb. If you like these videos, I do. Please like and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me and gives me confidence to uh, make new videos every week. And these are my independence reviews. I'm not affiliated with any of the brands that I use. I just really like the RAB brand, um, so you'll see me a lot of my videos in RAB gear just because I buy a lot of the RAB gear because I just think uh, it's really good, well made gear and they're really thinking of outdoor um, walkers when they're making the gear. You see some other um, brands and they seem to sell out to the high street market and RAB stay true to the nature. Um, it's an outdoor brand and the people behind it are outdoor people. That's where I really like this gear.